What's up guys? Welcome back to the Title Thrills YouTube channel on a very windy day here in San Antonio. I'm here, as you can see my flagpole, at Sea Road San Antonio for the last and final day of Paolo Scream. Now, a um, couple of things. Uh, it is very windy right now. Uh, the temperature is supposed to drop here in roughly about just over an hour and a half, um, down to 50 degrees, uh, which is a pretty cold here in Texas. Um, but yeah, we are gonna get in today, hopefully have some fun, go through all the houses one last time, uh, watch the shows, go through all the territories and everything. Do so everything one last time, uh, for the last time this season until next year in 2024. So let's go ahead and get into the park and have some fun. All right, we are in the park now and we have about an hour until Hallow Scream starts. So I figure I'll go ahead and just take a little lap around and then we'll end off back over by Nautilus. Uh, so that we can uh, wait for the final creature crawl of the season. So let's take a little trip down memory lane throughout the rest of Hollow Scream. Talk about some great things. Let's go. It looks like all the friendly pirates over here in Ports of Skull are gone. As they a lot of them were performers that do Monster Stomp too. So, man, I'm going to miss the friendly pirates. They're really cool. This year, and of course, the Bones Brothers. You can't forget the Bones Brothers. They're pretty iconic. Oh, Bones Brothers, I will miss you. What's, what a great tour, great little uh, residency. See you in 2024. What's up with the Ferris wheel? <laughs> um, but Spookly the Square Pumpkin Maze is also closed. We will see them next year once again. Oh man, and the trick or treating in Bay of Play 2 is also done. And, and the parade is done too. So Spooktacular is done until 2024, how sad. So I don't know if I've gotten this on uh, camera yet, but we do have some construction going on over here, right by uh, Land of Giants, or Log for short. Uh, and it seems like they're doing something over here. Now, I do know what this is, but I'm not going to say anything uh, because I don't want to give out any spoilers, uh, but I do know what this is going to be. So, and I for one, am very excited about it. So looks like they're building a little hut uh, over there which looks pretty cool and doing some construction over here by uh sea star theater so this is going to be very exciting when it opens up so very exciting and now we are heading into one of the first boundaries of hollow scream into the swamp at blackwater bayou both the territory and the haunted house over here to the left i gotta say this has been one of the better uh territories this season i really really enjoyed it uh, and the house has been pretty good too as well. So I'm excited to get through all of them today. I'm, I'm definitely gonna go through all the houses today and experience all the territories uh, just on the last night. So very exciting. Wonder if anyone's already lined up for the, for the swamp. It doesn't look like anyone's lined up yet, but uh, I am very excited. It is very crowded right now. I don't know if it's because the last night of Hell of Scream or what it is, but wow. There are a lot of people here right now. So I'm definitely gonna be invoking my little fear pass for sure. It's been pretty windy so far, so I'm not, I'm not even sure if Steel Eel is even open right now. I mean, it's open. There's people, there are people in line, but uh, I'm sure the ride has gone down to a high wind speed. Because even at the slightest burst of wind, Steel Eel does close down. So, yeah, very excited to get back into this uh, territory tonight. Of course, you got that big um, bush person on stilts. Uh, that guy's pretty cool. So, I'm excited to see him tonight. So, for one last time. Over here we have the entrance to disassembly line. My favorite of the houses. I'm gonna miss this house like crazy this year. So hopefully they bring it back next year. Uh, I hope they do and I'm sure they will. But yeah, they're also doing some construction over here uh, right by the Currents gift shop. I wonder what this is gonna be right here. Now this, I don't know what this is, but the other thing I, I do know what it is. So yeah. Over here in Sindustry District, Excited to see this place come alive once again for the final time tonight with the trampoline people, the DJs, the dancers over here in front, and that music playing all night long. So, very exciting. Oh man, you guys, I'm gonna miss this event so much. It's been, it was really good this year. But yeah, <laughs> still remember last year, my surprise is seeing that that was a trampoline and not a little stage. So, <laughs> back when this was Glacy Alley and not Sinistry uh, last year. So, let's keep going around. Definitely going to be missing Nightmare Midway like crazy this uh, after this season is done. Oh man, this has been such a great territory, great addition to the park. Uh, and of course, all the costumes over here are fantastic as well. 
and of course i'm 100 percent going to be missing bunny bradley probably the most of anything from hallow scream this year bunny bradley's ice cream shop was a phenomenal addition to hos this year and i'm gonna miss this house like crazy so looks like people are already starting to line up for it but good thing we have our fear pass tonight so i get to use that i'm not having to wait in lines tonight at all no siri bob so but yeah you guys very excited oh look at this guy right here it has been a very long time since i've seen great white have a line like this that's how you know it's gonna be absolutely slammed tonight i'm hoping the fear pass lines aren't too long for uh all of the houses that I want to go to because that would suck. So in recent days, they've actually been bringing uh, an, a scare actor over here dressed up as Scarlet from Unearthed Scarlet's Revenge, one of the old houses here, uh, and having her doing photo ops over here. So hoping, hoping she comes back tonight. She was here last night when I was doing my VIP tour, but, uh, but yeah. But we're also over here uh, in um, Vampire Point. Vampire Point is in one of the weaker uh, territories uh, this season. I haven't really been seeing people in here from what I've been seeing throughout, but uh, yeah, and here is the real crispy coop, the brand new chicken spot. I still haven't tried this area yet. Maybe I'll do it tonight at some point, but uh, but yeah, Vampire Point has been okay. Hasn't really been too great, so I remember in recent years it was pretty good, but this year it's been okay. Well, definitely not gonna miss Milton. <laughs> oh, I hope I hope they change it next year. <laughs> Speaking of changes coming to Hollow Scream, we're over here in Zombie Zone right now, and word on the street, according to the rumor mill, it's go circling around, tonight might be the last ever night for Zombie Horde. So I definitely want to make sure to head through Zombie Horde tonight, because if that is true, then we'll be then we may be saying goodbye to the wonderful haunt that is Zombie Zone or Zombie Horde. But Zombie Zone has 100% been the best territory uh, this year. That scare actors have been going so hard all season long. So I'm very excited to go through ter uh, here again later on ton uh, tonight. Or just actually technically in just about 45 minutes uh, when it opens. So, but yeah, we're definitely going to go through Zombie Horde tonight. This may be the last time that I ever get to go through this house. Right over there. Well, not really a house. It's more of an outdoor haunt. But uh, anyway. But yeah, I'm hoping that Zombie Zone stays, but Zombie Horde may be on the move uh, pretty recently. So, yeah. Looking at the trees around here uh, on the Orca Pathway, aka Zombie Zone, you can see that the park has already been hard at work putting in the Christmas lights for Christmas celebration. All one million of those lights are being put in right now, and they're starting to look really, really good all around the park. So. Christmas celebration starts in just a few weeks, uh, mid-November. I don't remember the exact day off the top of my head. I'll put it on screen right now. But uh, yeah, very exciting. Oh, Monster Stomp, how I will miss you so after this season. Um, it should be coming back next year, but uh, it has been a great show all year long. Even though it was the exact same from last year, it's still a great show this year. So yeah, Rupert Row, I'm kind of hoping they change it up. Rupert Row is not really as scary. Uh, territory, uh, but <laughs> there are a lot of animal trainers that are in this uh, territory, which is pretty funny. Oh, look, he's got Heelys on. Oh, that's cool. Nice. And unfortunately, after being really good last year, Water's Edge kind of fell off a little bit this year with the sirens only being in Siren Song. But anyway, I am excited to get back into Atlantis, though. It is. A, I do think it's a pretty fun house, even though nobody else thinks so. <laughs> but yeah. Let's go ahead and head back to Nautilus and wait for the creature crawl. The bells are ringing one last time. The creatures are about to come out, you guys. About to kick off this last night of Hollow Scream. Let's get it. Here they come. Yes. Woo! Yeah. Woo! 
towards the rest of the zombies. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Bird lady, Woo! yes. Yeah. Now waiting for the last siren song that I'm gonna see of the season. I'm gonna miss the show itself, but not the placement of the show. of men, and then we slept. We have remained below the water's edge, letting you grow and become plump and content with the world. And now that we have returned to feast, what have we found? A changed world. The water, the source of all life. You have tried to take it from us. You have poisoned it. Abused it. You are not fit. And we will have our revenge. No one can resist the siren's call. We...
All right, guys. That was my last time seeing Monster Swamp this season. So now it's time to go from worst to best haunted houses. Let's go. Kicking things off at Milton Creek Manor, the Atlantis, uh, and then we'll do probably Swamp, Zombie Horde, Bunny Bradley, and then end things off with disassembly to end off Hollow Scream. Let's go. Here we go, walking through Zombie Zone once again. <laughs> I believe you're a zombie. <laughs> Why would you want to be a Oh, yeah, this guy is cool. This guy. Oh, there's the fire. There's the doggy. There's the doggy. The doggy. All right, let's do the Milton. All right, so first house of the night is going to be Milton Creek. Easily the weakest of the six, but it's still a good house to walk through. Let's go. All right, guys, our final walkthrough of Milton Creek Manor for the season. Let's see how many scares we get. Probably not a lot, because I'm in the back. <laughs> Bye. 
Thanks for a great season. All right, good walk through Milton. Good walk through Milton. Not too bad. Not too scary or not, well, not scary at all because Milton is not scary. Um, as I've said for the past couple years, ever since doing that uh, behind the scenes tour at Milton, um, it really isn't that scary, to be honest. It really isn't. Because um, now I know where all the scares are, all the sensors and everything, so yeah. Also, good work the wise. Um, if you guys are with a group, um, please let the scare actors do their job and scare people. Um, don't hide around the corners in the houses and try to scare people. I mean, I can assure you the scare actors absolutely hate that. You know, the scare actors are professionals, they get paid to scare people. Don't do it yourself. You may have noticed that through that whole um, POV of Milton, there was the, the group in front of me that was consistently hiding behind corners, just trying to scare people behind them. So don't do that. Don't do that shit. It's not cool. It's not cool. We're now heading through Ripper Row. See where everybody is. Look who it is over there. Riot! Hi! <laughs> Anywho, say hello to Ryan. Oh. It's near the bug or something. <laughs> oh! <Woo>. Spooky. <laughs> it's more of the guys. Where's my bestie over here? I don't see him. Ripped bar. It's actually empty for once. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, I can't zoom in. Too quick over. <laughs> Heading out of Ripper Row, and we are going towards Water's Edge. The second siren song is going right now, but we're going to cut over to the left and go check out Atlantis one final time this season. All right, here we go through Atlantis.
Easily had to have been one of my best Atlantis walkthroughs of the season. That was pretty damn good. They got me pretty good back here. Look at someone back there. <laughs> All right. Time to head to Swamp. Yeah, Swamp. Heading into the Swamp at Blackwater Bayou. We're going to go to the house. But I wonder where Mr. Bush Stiltman is. I wonder where he's at. This, this territory has been okay. Sometimes they don't stick a lot of people in here. So, oh, there's some people over there. But where's our guy though? Where's our guy? I don't see him around anywhere. Look at that line, woo. Thank goodness for that fear pass. I don't see him here tonight. Oh, that sucks. He was cool though. All right, here we go. Our last walkthrough of the swamp for the season. Let's get it. Making sure there's no flash on. Okay, so I've kind of been developing this over this season, but Swamp is kind of losing its touch a little bit. 
and it's kind of sad because I liked it in 2021. Uh, last year it was okay. This year it's it's kind of weird this year. So I don't know how I feel about it. So that's why I was doing it before Zombie Horde. <laughs> Because Zombie Horror has been going pretty hard the past couple of weeks. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and walk through uh, Sindustry. Uh, I'm sure this assembly line has a pretty long line and a short Fear Pass line. There's actually a pretty solid line for Fear Pass at uh, Swamp. So, I'm hoping Bunny Brown doesn't have a really long Fear Pass line. It's actually a lot more crowded than I thought it was going to be. So, I'm having to really invoke that Fear Pass a lot, which honestly... That was an amazing find. <laughs> so I don't know if I've said it on camera, but we actually found that fear pass on opening night. It was stuck in a little A-frame sign. And so I got it out and me, Alex, uh, me and Alex freaked out. We're like, oh my God. And so that thing has been saving me all hollow scream long. I've been able to skip a lot of lines because of that one find. So yeah. All right, heading over through Sindustry, through Nightmare Midway and then Vampire Point. And then we'll head over to Zombie Horde, um, go through that for what could potentially be the very last time. Over here in Sindustry District. I'm sure they're cold. Always a vibe over here in Sindustry. Rest in peace, Carver's Cradle. Terrible house, but I kind of miss it, honestly. Nat. <laughs> All right, heading through Nightmare Midway with some of the best costumes this season. Hi. Tom Hammer says hi. <laughs> see who else is in here. Oh, I see a familiar face over there. <laughs> I see a trainer. <laughs> Cotton candy. Oh my. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm feeding my brain now. Oh, <laughs> oh that's cute. Oh. <laughs> Todd go. Saw him. Oh, he's over there. Ha! <laughs> there he is. Oh, so oh, he's talking to Lauren. I see her. <laughs> Lauren's over there. Look at this guy. This guy's cool. Love that. Man, I was hoping we were gonna get Scarlet tonight, but I guess not. Dang it. Uh oh, I just felt a raindrop. Oh no, that's not good. Let's hurry up and get the zombie horde then. <laughs> Let's get the zombie. Oh no, it is raining. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey! <laughs> oh shoot, let's hurry up and get the zombie. The sliders are having some fun over here. Yes, the sliders. Oh, I was gonna get it. Oh, we got room? Uh oh, here we go. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. All right, here we go through what could be our final walkthrough through Zombie Horde ever. They've been doing great for the past two weeks. Let's see how they do tonight. Already breaking rules. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, they're everywhere. 
Oh my god! Oh my god! They're everywhere! Oh my god, they're everywhere! Oh my god, sea lion high! Sea lion high! Oh, you got to make the line. She's right down this way. Get on the inside. That's so funny. Oh, it's this person that I ran into a few nights ago. next year Let's see if we can get one more one more slide maybe nah probably not bye vampire point just another fine example of teens acting a fool in a haunted house hopefully that's the last I see of that hopefully there's not there's none of that on Monday or Tuesday all right I'm gonna go do Bunny Bradley and then this assembly line and we're gonna call it a night so it looks like Bunny Bradley won something called a Scythe Award. I'm not sure what that is though, but that's a cool looking trophy right there. That's sick. Well deserved, well deserved. Whatever it was for, well deserved. All right guys, our last time walking through Bunny Bradley. I'm actually gonna cry guys. This is one of the best haunted houses I've ever been in in my life. I'm literally gonna cry. Here we go, my last walkthrough. 
through Bunny Bradley's ice cream shop right now. Let's go. Hi, Bunny Bradley. Look at Bunny. Hey. Showcase my love is ice cream. Hey. Thank you, Bunny Bradley. You're awesome. Bradley's Ice Cream Shop. Thank you so much for one hell of a season here at Hollow Scream. Best debut of any house. I'm really going to miss it. Hi! <laughs> I am desperately going to miss this house until next year. It better come back next year. But without further ado, Bunny Bradley, thank you so much. Sea World, y'all knocked it out of the park with this haunted house. <laughs> I'm like actually going to cry. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. I'm trying not to cry, guys. I really am. I, I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting this emotional over a haunted house, but it was just. Oh, man. This house was just incredible. So, I'm trying not to get the phone. Look, look at this thing. That's annoying. Um, but yeah, one last house to go. Disassembly line. The best one. And then we're going to call it a Hallow Scream 2023. I'm so excited. Oh, Sinistry. Gonna miss this place too. Providing us with some good music this whole season and some awesome trampoline stunts. Thank you, Sindustry, for an amazing season. Hopefully, it comes back next year. All right, folks, you know what they say you gotta save the best for last. We're doing disassembly line for our final house of Hollow Scream 2023, and we could not be ending on a better one. Let's go. All right, here we go, you guys. <laughs> last one, last walk through this assembly. Ooh, baby. Ow, oh, the table corner. Whoa! Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> oh crap. Wait, where's Dr. LaFrey? He gone. Oh crap, 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 crap. Oh, there he is. Hey, Doctor. The doctor is in. Hi, Dr. LaFrey. Later, Doc. Where's the guy right here that always gets my ass? Time he comes out. Oh my god. <laughs> I was waiting for you, brother. Here we go, guys. The last part of this assembly. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, dude. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Whoa. Oh, oh, we're almost done. Oh, we're done. Goodbye, this is the blue line. Ah! Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of a weak walkthrough of disassembly. <laughs> not gonna lie. There were a couple things that were missing from it, so that kind of sucks, but it was still this assembly line. We still ended on. What I still think is the best house, but Bunny Bradley, I should have ended on that one because that one was running at its best. But uh, yeah. that's it, you guys. Hollow Scheme 2023 is in the books. I know there's like 30 more minutes, but it's cold and I'm tired and I want to go home. So that's all she wrote for 2023. Thank you, Hollow Scream. Woohoo! I know the construction's in the way, but panning across the entire back side of the park as we leave hollow scream for the final time this season thank you for an amazing seven weeks of thrills horror and a lot of jump scares <laughs> thank you hollow scream thank you sea world for one hell of an event this year and we will see you in 2024 Five candy goodbye bones brothers Skeleton. Three black cats, two trick-or-treaters, and the whole now all in a dead tree. On the twelfth day. And there we have it, guys. Hollow Scream is done for the season. I'm sad. I'm very sad. But we do have inside look next week, um, which I probably won't make <laughs> because I'm working. Um, and then Christmas celebration starts November 9th. So a lot sooner than I thought it was gonna be, like two weeks away. <laughs> so good thing they're putting up all the lights now. Um, but yeah, you guys, what a great night. I'm glad the weather was able to cooperate, sort of. There was kind of a little a little bit of a rain delay before we went to Zombie Horde, but it was able to go away. I'm trying to get the stupid lighting out of the way. There we go, perfect. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, so thank you guys for sticking with me uh, for the entirety of Hell Scream. I'll catch you guys next year in 2024. Peace out.